Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie and I'm with Coffee Paper Scissors. This is my very first video and I am so nervous. I actually brushed my teeth first, if that makes any sense. Um, I've been making journals and playing with paper for a couple of years now. I have a friend named Donna, hi Donna, who kept sending me videos of these journals and I kept saying, okay, they're cute, but why are you sending me that? And so finally I thought, well, I'll give it a try. I'll make one and maybe she'll quit sending me videos because, you know, I made one. So now leave me alone. But that's all it took was one. It wasn't actually a journal that I made the first time. It was a little book made out of file folders and um, I still have it. I ended up making another one not too long after that for my mom for her birthday, and I was hooked. So I've decided after a couple of years, I'm gonna try some videos, so please bear with me. This is, I mean, I am so nervous, it's ridiculous. I've got butterflies and my heart's beating fast. So what I wanted to do today is just show you a small set of journals that I've made. I had a friend who gave me some paper that wasn't paper that I ever would have chosen for myself, and the colors were very powder pink, powder blue. They were probably um, for baby type journals or scrapbooking or something like that. So I coffee dyed them like there was no tomorrow to totally change the way they looked. And so I'm gonna take them out and just kind of show you one at a time, page by page, what I put in them. So here's the first one. It's got buttons on the spine here. And I don't know if you can see, but there's these little pink paisleys underneath all that coffee dye. And that's really what I didn't want, but I think it looks pretty cool with the coffee dye on it. I put some Tim Holtz figures on the front, and then the closure is fabric. It measures four inches by five inches, and then the spine is about one and three quarters inches. I just think that they're really cute. I You don't see small ones very often. Well, I mean, at least I don't see small ones very often, so I thought it'd be cute to do a set of them. I made it, I tried to keep the patterns together. Um, so you're gonna see the same pattern repeated throughout the book, but I only had so many patterns of each color, so that's why I did that. Little tag, does that one, nope. Tag here, little Tim Holtz guy. I actually know somebody that looks a lot like this kid. <laughs> so there's lots of journaling space, even though it's tiny, um, since there aren't a lot of tags and there's not a lot of pattern on all the pages, there is actually a lot of journaling space in this. This one has a couple. And so I made tiny little clusters too, since it's a small little book. Just tiny little clusters in there, a little belly band. There's three signatures in each book, so that was the first one. And I kind of just uh, mimicked the same, you know, pattern, you know, pocket on that page of the signature, side pocket on this page of the signature. More little Tim Holtz people. It's hard to know what to do with those tiny ones. I think a tiny book is perfect for that. There's also some of, one of those um, ephemera packs of his that's really little. I used some of those in these. I'll show you when we get to it. So this one is a double pocket on this side. There's a little um, sparkly there. What's the word? I can't think of the word right now. That's the first fear, is that I'm not going to be able to think of what I want to say. 
Yeah, I can't think of the word. <laughs> Another belly band. Okay, the third signature. Uh, that's one of those. I'm pretty sure this was one of the in the Tim Holtz tiny little ephemera packages. Pretty sure that's where that's from. These little um, tab top things. A friend of mine gave me a tab punch that she has, which you know you can't find those things anymore. And this was a mini one, and it has four different little tab punches on it. Uh, I only really use that one. The other ones don't seem to be very good. So this was also another one of those tiny ones from his pack. And you know I've had it for a while, and I kept thinking, what on earth am I going to do with these little bitty things? It was perfect for a little bitty journal. Tiny little cluster with the button. These pages that have the little flowers on the edge, that was some tissue paper, and I just fussy cut around a couple of the flowers that I liked. Another double pocket here. And another belly band here. So that is the pink one. Next we have the green one. They're basically the same. I'll probably go a little bit faster through this next one. And there's the side. Again, the colors were the same in this. So I just, I mean, just so much coffee in this. It does actually smell like coffee when you open it. I don't smell it right now. So sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So there's just a tag. little cluster and I remember bling that's the word I was trying to think of so again lots of places to um, journal some tiny little tags <clears throat> I made little tags out of the papers that were the off cuts um, when I was making the pockets and things like that there were you know there's always little off cuts and I my goal was to have not a single scrap of this paper left over and if I threw any away it wasn't much because I made you know these little things so that you know every single bit of it was gone when I was done making these because it wasn't paper the color they weren't colors that I would normally use so my goal was to make something that went together as a group and then the paper would be gone so I didn't have to figure out what to do with it again. Another tag there. Tag. Again there's three signatures in this one. Double pocket. Belly band with button. So these are some of Tim Holtz um, flowers. That's the green one. Yellow. I really like this. The yellow rose paper that this person gave me, I just loved it. Um, but I think she gave me like one piece and so I mixed it with, I think this was kind of a purpley rose. Um, the coffee dyeing really changed the color of it quite a bit. So front pocket and tag. Little journaling card there. I'm probably going to use the wrong terms for things because I'm, my brain really isn't working. I'm panicking right now to make sure I have something to say to fill the silence. <laughs> so this is a little mini file folder here. And then uh, another one of the tiny little Tim Holtz things. This is a little envelope. So cute. And again, never could figure out what to put it on. I just love this rose paper. 
I wish that's something that I could find again, but um, I think the person that gave it to me said that it was pretty old, so no such chance, I'm pretty sure. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I'm afraid people in my family are gonna hear me. I'm embarrassed to be talking to myself. <laughs> this lifts up here. I had my daughter helping me this morning, uh, changing my YouTube to where I can, I change the name and so that Hopefully you guys will be able to find me by what I'm saying. I, I, this is all new to me and I am, I am technically, tech, electronically, all of those things challenged. I have fought it and fought it and fought it and I have this feeling it's not going anywhere so I'm, I'm giving in. I'm giving in to the electronic age finally. So another double pocket there, tiny little clusters. It was fun to do them. It, it was actually hard on my hands. I remember after I got done with these books, my knuckles ached and I think it was just holding on to the little things. It was, it was a little difficult, but it was fun to do and they're cute, so. I hope I'm not boring you to death. Another tiny little file folder. One more. I'm going to zoom through the last one. So this one's blue. So the buttons are mostly vintage. I love buttons. So most of them are vintage, but occasionally I wasn't able to find the right color in my vintage buttons, so I went to the newer buttons to find one that would go. These little paisleys, I, I, they, they look like little feet to me. It would have been a foot with like eight or nine toes, which is, you know, not right. <laughs> but anyway, I think it was for babies or something. Isn't that cute? The little teeny tiny pocket that another friend gave to me. I'll talk about her in my videos, but I don't want to say everything in the first video or I won't have anything to say in the next one. Another tiny little tag here. I just think that's cute. I mix those guys together. That guy has a dog and so I just put them together. So my hope is to be able to sell these to you guys if you like them. I do not have an Etsy shop yet, <clears throat> um, but I'm hoping to pretty soon. I read that they want you to have a certain number of things to upload before you start, and I really don't have that much done yet, and so I wanted to wait. Um, so I figured I could start my videos, and um, hopefully by the time I've gotten my videos up, I've completed a few more things that I'm working on and I'll be able to start my shop. Tiny little picture. Yeah, so like these, this is a cute picture with these tiny little people and when you put that in a journal that's a full-size journal, it's kind of odd to me, but in a tiny little journal, I think it works perfectly. So then this morning, I, I made these books actually a couple months or so ago. And my friend Donna said, you should make something for them to go in. So I made this this morning. And that was fun. I, um, I just had to think about it for a little bit. It was like a little puzzle, but I managed. So anyway, there's that. I hope you enjoy it. And um, 
I have never done this before, but I guess that you can like my video and that you can subscribe to my channel. So I hope that you do. And leave me a comment if you have any suggestions. Nice ones only. Remember, this is my first video. So be patient with me, I'm learning. And I um, just want to thank you and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.